This is me and my sister at Disneyland Paris. Sisters, directed by Jason Moore, written by Paul Appel, and is the 2015 underrated comedy which tells the story of two sisters, uh, Kate and Maura, who, uh, whose parents have uh, made the decision to sell their old house, and the sisters have exactly one week to uh, clear out uh, their older belongings uh, from their rooms, but uh, they are not happy with this decision, so uh, to go back to the glory days of uh, when of when they were young, uh, they throw the largest house party ever with with their classmates. And, uh, but uh, the the party uh, soon descends into chaos uh, when when their personal life uh, gets involved, and uh, and and the house is uh, nearly unintentionally destroys. I'm sure the studio behind this movie wish they'd never release Sisters at the exact same time as this box office smash. And I can't believe that pile of shit Sir Alvin and the Chipmunks the road chip outgrossed Sisters financially. I saw this movie exactly a year ago on TV back in summer 2018 and I'm and I'm so sorry I didn't get round to uh, reviewing it until a year later but after seeing it I loved it so much I thought I I just have to review this and, and it's a shame that at the time because this movie was overshadowed by more major blockbusters that nobody gave a shit about it so uh, in, in yeah in fact I I have checked and uh, and uh, barely anybody has uh, reviewed this movie so I thought uh, if nobody's going to review this movie I I'll do it myself uh, and because more people should be giving a shit about this movie and should be showing it some love assist Sisters is a pure underrated uh, gem uh, in the comedy genre and uh, is uh, certainly the most underrated comedy I've ever seen. Uh, best female-led comedy uh, since Bridesmaids. Uh, so uh, yeah, let's get to two of my positives. What makes Sisters special as a comedy is that it's a sister story and we rarely see uh, sister-based comedy movies. Uh, the majority of them are brother uh, uh, related comedies. Uh, uh, in fact, uh, there are there seem to be more brother stories in movies than sister stories and, and I think there should be far more sister stories in film. Yeah, this is a comedy movie that made me realise how just how close I am to my own sister. She's currently uh, helping uh, with a, a theatre show uh, at my uh, local uh, theatre right now and uh, and she's uh, uh, doing brilliantly. Uh, so uh, yeah, this, this is a comedy movie for me and my sister especially. And, uh, and the two sisters, Kate and Maura, played perfectly by Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Yeah, 2015 uh, was uh, Amy Poehler's uh, uh, most successful year. First uh, Joy in Inside Out and now Maura in Sisters. Uh, yeah, yeah, her, she was uh, on fire in terms of her career and... Uh, yeah, and 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 uh, yeah, Amy Poehler and Tina Fey, they they both uh, give uh, well uh, such uh, winning performances uh, as uh, uh, the, our two sisters and uh, and Kate and Maura, they they are uh, they're, they're sisters that are that are going through uh, so much and and that's where sister succeeds. Uh, oh, and that's where Sister succeeds over other comedies uh, like uh, the Adam Sandler movies. Unlike uh, the Adam Sandler movies, in Sisters you care about the characters fully. Like uh, uh, Kate, uh, she's a, a single mum who is uh, uh, struggling to uh, 
find a jobber to support her teenage daughter Haley, uh, who and uh, and Maura. She's a recently uh, divorced uh, nurse who is uh, who's who just uh, wants her to uh, find her love again. And their sister relationship is one of the greatest uh, sister relationships I've ever seen in a movie since Elsa and Anna in Frozen. They, their relationship is how two sisters uh, would uh, uh, would uh, act uh, in real life. Uh, they uh, they have a. Uh, they have uh, laughs together, they they occasionally uh, fall out, uh, but that doesn't stop them from adoring one another. This movie addresses that no sibling relationship is perfect, uh, but uh, when they do make up, it brings you to uh, tears of joy. And uh, yeah, and, uh, uh, I, I was worried uh, that uh, Jason, uh, more as a boyfriend, friend uh, would uh, be uh, the uh, part of the movie that I wouldn't care for but no uh, he is genuinely supportive and gentlemanly to her and they even uh, 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 make uh, one moment of their relationship fun in the, in the uh, moment where both are attempting to well lose their virginity in at the house party. Yeah, yeah. I I I won't spoil what happens, uh, but uh, you'll you'll know uh, what I mean when you see it. And uh, and and Kate, so uh, she uh, is. Uh, uh, the older sister of the two, and she's doing her best to be a good mum and to uh, get a, uh, a appropriate uh, job. And uh, and uh, and and Haley, uh, her her teenage daughter, uh, may she may uh, her one unlikable moment when uh, she uh, calls a case on the phone her loser mum after she finds out Kate uh, did uh, lie to her just to make her feel better. But it's only because uh, Haley feels her mum doesn't care about her, but uh, but I love uh, the way uh, their mother and daughter relationship is resolved when Haley uh, falls into uh, uh, the piss at that in, in the finale, and then then uh, uh, Kate just uh, leaps in uh, to uh, come to her daughter's rescue. Uh, yeah, and, uh, and uh, even. Uh, uh, Brinda, who is Kate's nemesis uh, from high school, and uh, and she's pissed that she uh, wasn't invited to the party, and she does attempt to sabotage uh, the party uh, every now and again, but uh, but even. Uh, even they make up uh, by uh, the finale of this movie. They don't just make her a, a cliché bully girl. They even give more layers and a softer side to her. Yeah, uh, uh, all, the conflict in this movie is, is resolved uh, be beautifully. And every single bit of conflict is resolved, uh, leaving the viewer... 100% uh, satisfied with the ending as a whole. And... Uh, and and the house nearly the entire movie is the house party so uh, so it's the one part of the plot this movie needed uh, to nail and uh, it nails the house party with such flying colors the laughs are coming from me were genuine, especially in the uh, iconic uh, apple bub dancer scene. Uh, yeah, that scene showcases that the team behind this movie were born to make great comedies, and uh, and the and and the and the personal life conflict is still a presence uh, in in moments in in the house party, helping the house party feel entirely relevant. Uh, so yes, yeah, Sisters is one flawless and uh, comedy masterpiece, uh, and. Hollywood, please like less comedies like uh, the Adam Sandler comedies and more comedies like Sisters. Uh, this is a comedy uh, with uh, uh, legit laughs, uh, hearts, and even avoids uh, some cliches. And, uh, yeah, uh, it's uh, uh, on. It's honestly even one of my top ten favorite movies of two thousand and fifteen. I give Sisters. Five stars out of five best movie ever. So yeah, such an underrated gem in comedy, and uh, uh, I've uh, just uh, reviewed uh, two uh, masterpieces from 2015 alone uh, this August, and well, I love you guys, thank you all for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, and what do you think of Sisters? Please comment and let me know, please like the video and subscribe, please follow me on Twitter and on Google+, and I'll see you all next time when I... Uh, 
uh, review uh, the Django Unchained uh, in, in for the upcoming uh, Quentin Tarantino movie Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.